Good morning. Throughout this video, we explain dynamics of market price. Market equilibrium is said to be dynamically stable if the price converges to the equilibrium price over time. On the other hand, it is unstable if the price moves away from the equilibrium price over time. The dynamic analysis of the market price helps us to find out the part of equilibrium price over time. Suppose for a particular commodity, the demand and supply functions are QD is equal to A minus BP where A comma B greater than 0 and QS equal to minus C plus DP where C comma D greater than 0. The demand equation QD is a equation number 1 and the supply equation is equation number 2. The equilibrium price is obtained by equalizing quantity demanded with quantity supply. That is QD is equal to QS or A minus BP is equal to minus C plus DP. After simplifying this equation, we get equilibrium price P bar equal to A plus C divided by B plus D. That is equation number 3. If initial price P0 is equal with equilibrium price P bar is equal to A plus C divided by B plus D, then the market price is in equilibrium. But if initial price P0 is not equal to equilibrium price P bar, then we analyze whether the price converges to the equilibrium level P bar or not over time. If the market price converges to the equilibrium level that is equilibrium price P bar through the autonomic adjust, automatic adjustment process then the time part of price PT is said to be dynamically stable. Let us assume that the rate of change in price over time that is dp by dt is directly proportional to the excess demand with an adjustment coefficient lambda that is dp by dt is equal to lambda times of the difference between qd minus qs that is equation number four where qd is equal to a minus bp and qs is equal to minus c plus dp after substituting the value of QD and QS, we get DP by DT is equal to lambda multiplied by A minus BP minus minus C plus DP. After simplification, we get DP by DT plus lambda into B plus D into P equal to A plus C that is equation number 5. Now equation number 5 is the first order linear differential equation with constant coefficient lambda into b plus d and constant term a plus c. Now the solution of equation dy by dt plus ay equal to b is yt equal to y0 minus b by a into e to the power minus at plus b by a. That is the general solution of first order linear differential equation with constant term a, sorry, constant coefficient a and constant term b is this. Now, using this formula or general solution of first order differential equation, we get the solution of equation number 5 as P 
pt is equal to p0 minus a plus c divided by b plus d into e to the power minus lambda into b plus d into t plus a plus c divided by b plus d that is equation number six but uh, from equation three we get p bar is equal to a plus c divided by b plus d so equation six becomes pt equal to p0 minus p bar into e to the power minus lambda into b plus d into t plus p bar that is equation number seven now pt is called the time part of price here as t tends to infinity then e to the power minus lambda into p plus d into t that is equal to 1 divided by e to the power lambda into b plus d into t will tends to 0. Now see the logic is that when the t tends to infinity then the power of e will increase. So if the power of e increases then value of e to the power lambda plus b plus d into t will increase as a result the value absolute actual value of this term will tends to zero now the equation seven becomes pt equal to p0 minus p bar into zero since the value of this term tends to zero as t tends to infinity so this will be uh, that is p0 minus p bar into zero plus p bar so ultimately we will get zero plus p bar or that is equal to p bar that means as t tends to infinity then pt equal to p bar or pt converges to p bar therefore the time part of price pt is called dynamically stable let us explain the dynamic stability of price with the help of a diagram where the horizontal axis represents time and the vertical axis represents that is time part of price pt and let us assume that the equilibrium price lines p bar is this which is in horizontal line if p0 that is initial price is greater than equilibrium price p bar and if the time part of price pt that is the line for time part of price is approaches to the p bar that means pt converges to p bar on the other hand if p0 that is initial price is less than p bar and if the time part of price t converges to p bar that is the line of pt tends to be equal to p bar then the market price is called dynamically stable so this is about the dynamical sorry dynamic stability of price this is how we have to explain the dynamic stability of price thank you